<laughs> so I'm laughing because Dave Poxon is standing just there and he's trying to put me off. We're in uh, Santa Cruz de la Palma. It's the capital of the island. As you can see behind me, it's really pretty. There's some lovely streets here. You could definitely get some nice shots around here. Unfortunately, I haven't because I got a call one, a couple of hours ago telling me that my flight to Zurich to run the masterclass there has been cancelled. So we've been running around trying to sort that out. Dave had a great idea. He said, let's not bother with going online. Let's just go to a travel agent and let them deal with it. What an awesome thing. Guys, just use travel agents. I don't understand why I forgot about them. You just walk in, talk to the nice person, they make it all happen. Okay, it might have cost me 20 quid more, but you know, I've got a whole afternoon back. So what about the photography? Well, it's been a good place to photograph. I strongly recommend coming here if you want to come and have a look around, you want a holiday, especially if you want to go hiking. But if you go and have a look at the pictures in the gallery linked below, you'll see there's not that many of them. And those pictures are the result of Dave and I working on this 10, 12 hours a day for three days to get that few images. You really do have to know a location, particularly if you want to shoot landscapes. So I hope this little short series of videos has been educational to you guys because I know many of you go somewhere and go, wow, I'm going to go and shoot this amazing landscape. I saw it in a magazine. But you haven't seen the back end to that. You haven't seen how many times the photographer probably visited that location many, many times over, understanding it, getting to know it, the light, etc. Landscape photography takes a lot of work. We were stood on a, on a hillside looking at the light on, on the side of a mountain, on the side of a caldera earlier. There's a beautiful cloud in the sky. And, you know, we were just stood there waiting for the decisive moment when the light just came over the top of the ridge. And, you know, this is all part of what goes into landscape photography. It's not just going for a walk with a camera. Anyway, so we've come to the end of this. Is this a place where I'd run a workshop? I think the logistics are too difficult. To travel only sort of five or ten miles can take an hour or more because of all the switchbacks in these roads going up and down, up and down, up and down. Great place to come for photography if you want to come independently, but to run it as a workshop, I think the cost of me having to come back and spend at least another week or two researching and finding these places to take you guys who'd be paying for it would make it non-viable commercially and a pain in the neck for you if you came on it as a workshop. Come here, have a look around. It's been a great experience. I've thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with my friend David. Dave, come and say goodbye to the people. Goodbye, people. <laughs> I'm sorry he can't help being a knob. Uh, but yeah, it's been a good time hanging out with my buddy, taking some pictures, and I'm really happy with the pictures I've got, even though we haven't had the best of conditions. So my next stop is going to be in Zurich uh, to run the masterclass there. I may give you a little update, may even shoot a little video whilst I'm there. As you know, I like to do that. Take care. As I say, think about everything I've just said. You want to go shooting landscapes, you've got to put a lot of work into it. Ciao.